In today's video, let's look at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Let's look at the agenda today. So we'll see what is the Commerce Cloud. We'll talk about its architecture and we'll also give you a brief introduction to its business manager. So let's dive in. So what is a Commerce Cloud? So before we start that, let's look at what is Salesforce. So what Salesforce is a leading world tech which uh, seeks in a field of customer relationship management. So Salesforce Commerce Cloud is a cloud-based e-commerce platform where uh, we can manage and uh, sell products and it gives us with a lot of facilities like uh, AI based uh, tools, app store and more. Now let's look at its architecture. So a Commerce Cloud architecture is nothing but a reference architecture. So reference architecture serves as a starting point for online storefront design and combines best practices in site design and storefront architecture. So it gives us a blueprint for uh, building and customizing your uh, e-commerce storefronts. So the Commerce Cloud storefront uh, uses JavaScript controllers. So in B2C commerce, controllers are more of uh, server-side scripts that uh, handles our storefront requests. So they basically manage the flow of control in the application and uh, create instances of models and uh, views to process each sto storefront request and generate an appropriate response. So the B2C commerce uh, uh, code or any merchant customizations or any third-party integration code uh, is uh, discreetly stored in cartridges. So it makes it easy to maintain and up, uh, update the contents of uh, each cartridge. So in B2C commerce, a cartridge contains a code or data so this means that uh, developers can build new components, for, exam for example, features such as uh, uh, Wishlist or Apple Pay or payment integrations, any, 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 anything like that. So this architecture allows for a lightweight and uh, cleaner code base for uh, uh, continuous or iterative and evolutionary site design. So the core code is not available for edit, while developers are free to develop functionalities on top of it. Now let's look at the portal of Business Manager. As you know, Commerce Cloud is a paid service and it's not an open source. So we have to purchase sandboxes to get access to this. Now if you look at on the top left corner, you can find two things, Site Genesis and Site Global. So Site Genesis is nothing but a default site that uh, Commerce Cloud provides us. So it's basically a demo store, assuming let's say you have multiple regions or multiple sites uh, for uh, specific to my, a region, then everything will be stored here. And the site global is nothing but a global site. Uh, so it's basically a site for all the regions that you have. So if you see here, uh, we have the version uh, the current version of the commerce cloud and it will also display all the current features that this version is basically providing. Well, on the top, we can see three functionalities or three tools, the merchant tools, administration tools, and uh, storefront. Uh, let's discuss each individually now. Now, uh, let's look at uh, the different components that we have in uh, merchant tools. So the first one uh, is content. So content is, uh, this is the place where we uh, store all the static and uh, dynamic uh, data that we have. Uh, so we'll be having libraries and uh, folders where we'll uh, store all the data there. And the next one is customers. So customers is where you customize and uh, create uh, customers and uh, you can also do import export of the customers. The next one is custom objects. So this is like a database. So as it's a cloud-based e-commerce uh, site, it, we doesn't have direct contact with the database directly. So we have to create object to do that. Uh, the next one is the uh, site URLs. <clears throat> the site URLs uh, mainly contains all the combination of URLs that uh, we'll be using. So uh, we'll also have CDN here. It's a uh, server-based uh, uh, GSS where we uh, store all the C CDN settings uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, the URL request uh, uh, analyzer is basically a testing tool for these URLs here. 
Now let's look at uh, products and catalogs. So this is the place where we store all the products or product families that our company has and all the catalogs uh, and everything related to pricing or price books, everything will be stored in this uh, particular section. Now let's move on to ordering. Ordering is a uh, section where we uh, put all the payment methods, all the shipping methods that we have and we can also do import export of uh, orders from uh, different sites as well. Assuming we have multiple multi-region sites and we can do that. Um, let's move on to search now. Uh, this is where we put indexes or we put keywords so that uh, it better enables our customers to uh, use the search bar. So we can use a lot of dictionaries, everything we can be used here to uh, do better search or to get better search results. And we can as well uh, do an import export as well for this, this one too. Now let's move on to our online marketing. So this is where we put all the campaigns. Uh, we can also add promotions or coupons at this particular section. And as well, we can also do an import export from uh, different sites. Uh, and let's move on to analytics now. So this is where we uh, generate uh, reports or purchase reports of our daily, uh, we can generate daily reports or monthly reports of how uh, things are going on the site. And uh, we can also check the traffic report, how many people are coming in and how many people are uh, clicking on what. Now uh, let's move on to site preferences. So this is where uh, uh, we can give uh, what type of currency this site need to be uh, need to have and uh, we can as well uh, put all the orders or uh, coupons or promotions uh, for uh, this particular site and we can uh, uh, do a to b testing here as well and we can also add a couple of uh, new applications uh, like apple play and uh, all the all the customer service storefront urls can be uh, stored uh, here now let's look at uh, the administration uh, tools that uh, commerce cloud provides the first one is replication so in replication uh, we can do all the data uh, replications or code replications can be done here uh, let's move on to organization so this is where uh, we can create users or create permissions and we can also do web dev uh, client permissions can be done here uh, let's move on to sites now so in this place we can uh, manage sites we can uh, uh, create custom libraries and we can uh, generate batch processes and we can also do embed uh, uh, cdn settings uh, everything can be done here so in site development we can uh, do a lot of things like uh, code development we can uh, create uh, different system objects and we can uh, uh, developer can write custom error messages or he can do custom runtime pages uh, so that uh, it will give a better understanding to a customer what's happening in the page when an exception or error occurs and we can also do import export of a specific storefront that our site has and now let's move on to global preferences so this is where we can uh, initialize locales or instance time zones and we can give auth authentication to providers we can all the security measures can be taken here and we can also uh, do import export as well here and we all the analytics uh, settings all the configuration settings can be done in this particular place uh, let's move on to the final one it operations so this is where we can uh, a developer can do job schedules or he can uh, give job statistics of how how the jobs are uh, going on day-to-day -day, day -day basis and we can also create uh, custom logs to track uh, each and every component in our uh, site of what's going on and we can also give uh, encrypted uh, uh, we can also uh, create encrypted keys uh, assuming uh, let's say you uh, a customer made uh, 10 orders and we have to give unique uh, order number to each uh, order so all those uh, configurations can be done here and uh, we can give an IP address uh, geolocation data can also be configured in uh, IT operations. So Salesforce Commerce Cloud also provides with an uh, predictive intelligence. This is where uh, uh, it, we can configure uh, our code to give uh, uh, better recommendations of the products uh, and catalogs to the customers. Now uh, let's look at uh, storefront. 
so store front is nothing but uh, uh, it's a front end of the whole store that we're working on so all the all the changes that we are doing here all the administration changes everything will be displayed on the store front now let's let's just uh, load our store and see how it looks so this is the store that's going to load it so this is basically a demo store that uh, salesforce uh, gives us to let us know like how uh, how a typical e-commerce site looks like so all the changes that we are doing in administrating administrator tools will be directly reflected here uh, this is our video i hope you understood the architecture that uh, salesforce commerce cloud has and all the tools that are required to master to build effective sites in uh, salesforce commerce cloud thank you